Tip number one is to make sure that when you're measuring the distance from the wall, that you don't include any of these baseboards here. You go straight from the drywall out to the 16 or 24 inches to your to the floor joist. So you can see here that it adds about an inch, inch and a half, two inches if you were to include the baseboards in the measurement. And the second tip is take a paper clip and fold it into this wide open C shape. And on the first end, bend it just a bit so that it's smaller than the diameter of the original holes you've been drilling. And on the other end, bend it a little bit bigger so that when you stick the paper clip down there, it doesn't fall through. So what you do with this paper clip, you stick it through the first hole that you did not find a joist in. And you might be able to get some help with some pliers to push it down, okay? So now I know that I'm in the hole and I can go up and down very easily so I know I'm not in a joist. So then what I do to find out which direction the joist is at, I take the end with the longer tip and I rotate it. Since the paper clip is curved, I'm not hitting anything. I know there's no joist on this side. So then I will turn it around, trying to find a joist on the other side. And if you notice, I can't turn it this side because the curved paper clip is hitting the joist, which so happens to be right here. I'll try the other side, trying to turn it, and I can't. And then pull it out. And then when you find a hole that does have a joist to confirm that you're in the joist, what you do is you take a paper clip, put it down through the hole, and you can use your pliers. And if you shoved it down, what you think is the distance that you drilled, and it's still hard to get it to go down further, that means that that shorter end is scratching against the wood, and you know you've got the joist right there.